سلام دوستان ما با یه مصاحبه دیگه کنار شما هستیم دفعه پیش با هتیچر مخانومی کریستا یک مصاحبه داشتیم امروز اینجا هستیم تا یک کمی جزیات بیشتری رو راجع به یادگیری زبان فنلاندی زبان انگلیسی که لازم هست و اینطور در واقع مسائل صحبت بکنیم که یکم مصاحبه همون طولانی تر خواهد بود اوکی های کریستا تانکیو ایگین فور هاوینگ اس هیر اند لاست تایم وی هاد لایک ا ریلی گود دیسکشن تاکینگ اباوت دی لول اف دیفیکالتیز وین یو ار تراینگ تو لرن فینیش بات نو دیس تایم وی هاد ا لوت اف کوئسچنز اباوت بیکاز وین دی استودنتس ار استارتینگ فیگ لرنینگ فینیش دی شود نو انگلیش لنگویج از ا کامن لنگویج So we're going to like uh, uh, ask you about how good sh- they should be in English or how like professional they should know English when they start learning Finnish language. Well, uh, basic English is totally enough. You don't have to be perfect in English. You don't have to uh, be like um, able to write without any mistakes or something like that. Uh, it's enough if you can have um, if you can understand like the normal basic words in in English, and uh, then when the teacher explains you slowly, you can understand the teacher. Mm. So, so do they need any uh, certificate for that? No. Okay. No. And uh, how further? I mean, when they're like start learning Finnish, they use English language. Do they use it like at the the whole period or at some point? Uh, well, when they reach around A2.2, then they will finish using English mm. language. So, so the A2.2 is like uh, the kind of end of experience level. Yes, it's the end of experience. So we have like the first module and second module is finished. And then so they are like able to completely turn to speaking in, in Finnish or try yeah. to. Yeah, so around four months, and then then no, uh, not so much English anymore. Okay. Yeah. That's good. But anyhow, I mean, knowing any English is like good in general for some person. I mean, even so, if they are living in Finland, knowing the English language. Yes, because o- almost everybody in Finland uh, speaks English. So even if you have trouble saying something in Finnish, you can always use English, and people will yeah, most likely the understand. Supporting them. language. Yes, and sometimes in Finland, actually, you even might have like restaurants where the wait uh, waiters and waitresses only speak English. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And now Finland is like turning to a cosmopolitan country. Yes, that's true. A lot true. of like other nations are living here without knowing the language. Yes, that's true. Even though I think it's not ideal, but yes, it happens. Of but of course, uh, you will get a lot deeper into the Finnish culture if you know the language. Mm. Okay, that's really good because this is like knowing the English language is like a starting point for yes. every student. But when it comes to like after like experience level or a a two point two, how uh, like good they are. learning Finnish and then what are basically the differences and then how difficult is the Finnish language any logic any puzzle or anything that you can maybe compare it uh, or, or describe the Finnish language in general uh, well Finnish language has a lot of endings like that's the thing in Finnish language and the Finnish grammar mm-hmm. but Uh, like I said before in our interview, uh, Finnish is also a very forgiving language. If you use a wrong ending, you will most likely be understood. Mm-hmm. But yes, so for example, the verbs, if I say mina olen, I am, I say sina olet, you are. So for mina, you are using olen, like with n, mm-hmm. and for you, I am using olet with t, t. Yeah. yes. So every verb has this uh, similar kind of endings, but the verb might change a little. But mm. as I said, you don't have to panic about it because you will be understood. Yeah. So it means in some point if you say "sina olen," still the the person will understand that you're talking yes. about you are. Yes. So so by using the word "forgiving," you mean that so people are. forgive you if you are not using the same yes. I mean the, the correct ending yeah because if we are th- uh, thinking about for example tonal languages like Chinese or maybe Thai um, if you use the wrong tone you might not be understood at all yeah 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 but uh, Finnish doesn't have that problem mm. like you can you can 
practically you can forget about the endings for a while mm-hmm. and people will still understand you. Understand you. And then how, how Finnish people are um, like helping you when they don't understand, how you cannot speak in, uh, in Finnish or you are not uh, like a fluent Finnish speaker, how they are reacting to, I mean, normal people, to the foreigners? Well, if they have some experience about foreigners, they might um, speak a little bit slower mm-hmm. and uh, help help uh, the other speaker find the words and uh, quit speaking like in spoken language. Yeah. They will start using like the written Finnish language. Mm-hmm. So uh, they will they will definitely help. Okay, that's good. Do we have a lot of dialects here in Finland? Oh yes, we do. Okay. And that that might sometimes be very scary mm-hmm. for the for the ones who come here, but uh, they might find it comforting that not even Finnish people understand <laughs> each other sometimes okay. <laughs> because of the dialects. Oh yeah. 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 So so if you don't understand somebody's dialect, you can just like ask them like, like could you please uh, speak with the like written language yeah. or the general language? Yeah. Okay. That's good. And then in our Finnish program, I mean, learning Finnish uh, program, do we like uh, following the like really academic way or spoken way? Uh, we are turning like more and more to the spoken way because we are noticing that our students, like the most important thing for our young students is that they have to be able to speak. Mm-hmm. And it's not so important uh, if they are able to write or like write correctly but they have to like find the courage to speak you know yeah so that's why we are like adding more and more um, uh, speaking exercises and trying to trying to help the students to open yeah. their mouth and uh, have the courage to speak and understand that this is like a safe space yeah. where you can speak and nobody is judging you yeah exactly yeah, yeah because like I mean spoke, speaking is like really starting point Yes, and I understand that uh, when you are speaking a new language, you are like so out of your comfort zone, mm. like so so out of your comfort zone that it's like it feels so bad, you know, yeah. at first. But then, especially when you think that you are not good at that. Exactly. Yeah. But then when you get like when people understand you and you realize that okay. Uh, I, I I was understood with the yeah. new language I'm speaking, even though it's not perfect. Yeah. Then you get these feelings, uh, like uh, experiences, that that okay, I can manage. Yeah. I can do this. That could be a, like a good motivation. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Okay, that's really good. Yeah. Good, good that you just brought this up. This um, I mean details that a lot of our audience were asking about the details and difficulties. And how hard it is to like uh, learning the new language, especially when it comes to Finnish. Um, a lot of our uh, people, I mean, know that uh, uh, Finnish education system is really good and advanced in the world, and probably many countries are copying that. Um, I know that um, we are like more than 20 teachers, Finnish teachers, that they are uh, teaching our students, but. Um, Can you just elaborate more about the the teachers and then what kind of like uh, study level they should reach to be a teacher in Finland yeah. and the, about the system? Yeah. yeah. So uh, our th- our teachers they are very enthusiastic. Mm-hmm. They like um, we try to find teachers who really like to work with the young people mm-hmm. and uh, who really care about them and. Um, Also, our teachers, they are uh, either studying to be like a master of education or um, a master of arts, usually Finnish language or literature, mm-hmm. and uh, or they have already like accomplished that. Or they might also, some of them are like class teachers uh, who have experienced in, uh, in teaching Finnish, and I think that is our like... Uh, big advantage that we have so different kind of teachers from different backgrounds Mm -hmm. like for example class teachers they might have some kind of like pedagogical ideas that the Finnish teachers might not have Mm -hmm. so we are using our wide network of teachers to Mm -hmm. make our teaching the best and all of them are living in Finland Mm. or like they are Finnish yes Uh, not all of them are like native Finnish 
uh, some of them uh, have studied language and then became uh, they have become like a Finnish te- Finnish teachers okay. after studying the language, which is also like amazing for yeah. our students to see that hey, this can also be the path. Exactly. Like uh, you can you can start studying the language now and you can even become a Finnish teacher. Teacher, yeah. Yeah. That's a really good point. Yeah. It's like people can believe it themselves, you know. Yes. That they can do that. That's good and. Um, It's like a tricky question. Are they patient, patient to like ask a lot of questions? Oh yes, our teachers they love that the students students ask questions, and uh, usually some teachers they might come up to me like, oh my god, this uh, this group they are so like quiet. They don't they don't ever ask any questions, and I want them to ask me questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Because you know when the students when they ask questions, then the teacher know that okay. This is the thing that my students know. This is the thing that my students don't know. Mm-hmm. So it really helps the teacher with their work. They can examine that. Yeah. Okay. We are we are doing the following. I mean, we are following the process. Is it in a good yes. quality? Yeah. And um, sometimes I like um, you know follow and watch the recordings to see how is the quality and then let's say how our students. I mean, especially Iranian students are doing. And I see that our Iranian students are really asking a lot of questions. That's very good. I think the Iranian students are the ones asking most of the questions usually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They, if they don't, they don't understand something, so they ask, "Can you explain more about this?" And then I couldn't, I couldn't get it due to the internet connection either, or the level of like. Yeah, uh, and they also ask the teachers like after the class in in the chat. Okay. Yeah. That's good. That's, That's very good. good. So it's like um, you recommend it to. Do that more, and more often. And uh, one thing that I felt as a teacher, I mean, if I were a teacher, so I would be like really, uh, maybe, uh, came became lazy because I see the recordings and no cameras are on, so teachers might feel that okay, to whom I am speaking. Yes, that's uh, that's like that's actually quite sad, and uh, we have been encouraging the students to keep the cameras on. But that is also unfortunately due to the internet connections. Yeah. Like they might not have a good enough internet connection to keep their cameras on. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but if you have good internet connection, try to turn on. Please the camera do. Because it gives a lot of energy to the teacher. Yeah. Yes, and everybody else also. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, they encourage each other. Yes. Exactly. That's really good. Um, so at this point. I think mm, it was enough to just yep. elaborate more and then uh, open it more when it comes to learning Finnish language. And really appreciate your time and thank you. your talking. That was really helpful thank as you. a teacher at Finance Future. And uh, we are looking forward to more sessions like this and then sit together and talk about the detail. Yeah. Good. Thank you. Thank you. خیلی ممنون. ما سعی کردیم که خیلی جزیات رو برای شما باز بکنیم. از جلسات بیشتر خواهیم داشت. و توصیه میکنیم که زودتر به ما بپیوندید این ویدیو رو با دیگران به اشتراک بذارید و تشویق کنید که یادگیری زبان فنانی اونقدر سخت نیستش خیلی ممنون تا به زودی